Hey guys, this is a product feedback tutorial. Today we'll be setting up Gmail IMAP on the iPhone. Now, for those who don't know, IMAP is a system that Google Gmail has in place which allows you to access your emails on your iPhone and whatever you do on your iPhone gets synchronized to the server. That means whenever you connect up to a computer at uni or at work or at home, all your emails and your editing and everything that's been done on the iPhone is automatically synchronized on the PC. And we'll, I'll show you how to set that up right now. So the first thing you do is you've got to go to mail and then everyone will see this nice Gmail logo in the middle. You do not hit that button. The reason why you don't hit that button is in the current Apple 3.0 OS firmware, the Gmail is only set up for POP3. That means all the emails come to your phone and they don't get synchronized to the server. So we don't want to do that. We're going to hit other. In other, we're going to add a new account. Now we need to put your name, your email address, that's at gmail.com, your password and a description of the account. I'm going to do that and then I, and uh, this is what's going to happen. Now that we've inputted all the data, your name, address, password and description, we're going to hit save. And this connects up and then gives you presents you with some more information. Now, make sure IMAP is selected. See, it's, it just gives you an overview of your name, your address and the description again. And these two bits here, incoming mail server and outgoing mail server. These are very, very, very important for what we need to do. We're going to set up the incoming mail server first. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to write something very important in. What you write is I map.gmail.com okay then you have to put in your username and your password that's your full at gmail.com email address and your gmail password okay once you do that you scroll down to outgoing mail server and then outgoing mail server host name what you type is smtp gmail.com and then again make sure you put in your full gmail username at the dot com and your full gmail password all right i'm going to put that in now and we'll see what happens all right now that we've entered all the data and um, we made sure the password and the username were correct and that we had the incoming mail server host name is imap.gmail.com and the host name is smtp.gmail.com. We're going to hit save. And there we go. And that's it. It's connected and it's set up. Your email will now work no problems. And what you do is you can access all your emails and everything through um, your iPhone. And anything that you do on the iPhone will be automatically synchronized onto the web server, allowing you access to anywhere you want to be. Okay. Now, what you also need to do is something else. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this and we're going to go to settings. Okay. In settings, we are going to go to mail, contacts and calendar. We're going to go down to here where it says fetch new data. We're going to hit on that. Okay. We're going to make sure push is turned off. Okay. And we're going to schedule fetch to however much you want. Every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes hourly. What this does is it checks with your Google server for new emails. So I want it to check for a new email every hour. And what I'll do is I'll check up on the server every hour. Now, depending on what plan and how much data you use, if you connect it on Wi-Fi, it's purely up to you. If you want, you can have it on manual, meaning only when you open up the email, it'll check. But that's just up to you and the preference to which way you'd prefer. There we go. That's another product feedback tutorial. And I hope you all uh, can now receive emails on your phone. Thank you.